Hello party people, it is Will Pembo. We are taking another crack at the tubing bender. What we've done is we've abandoned this idea. I really love this idea. John and I were so excited. We thought for sure it would work. We just did not calculate the lateral forces involved. Sometimes you don't calculate forces involved. All right, moving on. So now what we're gonna do is if you look over there, we've basically <laughs> put a steering wheel on the pipe that we're about to bend. And John's job. Oh, I get jobs. Yep, is to steer the pipe 180 degrees over these 20 feet. And so we've marked off on the ground here. He should be at 45 degrees here, 90 degrees here, 135 degrees here, and 180 by the time he... How are you gonna do 180? I don't know, we'll have to figure that out. You hear that? Blup, blup, blup. I think those are skunks. <laughs> I don't know for sure. We're going for a radius that's a lot like that tube over there which we have uh, begun referring to as the rainbow of disappointment. That's what that is over there. But we like the radius. It's about a... About a six foot radius turn. That's what we want at the top of our barrel roll. We want a six foot radius turn. So we're gonna tighten it up just as much. <laughs> All right, are you... Good. You strong? 45, 90, so I'm gonna stop us right about 90. Okay. I'm excited about this, and not just because I know it can't go worse than it's gone before. As long as that's not the only reason that you're excited about this. You know what would also excite me? Plugging in the tool before we turn it on. That, just a little excitement, though. There's nothing worse than I could have let you actually turn it on and then do it yourself. <laughs> Copy that. Okay, you ready? We're going. Stop. 4590 stop. Ready? Yes. In three, two, one, go. <laughs> One thing we've learned is that we only turn counterclockwise <laughs> because turning clockwise, yeah. <laughs> okay, so but but look, dig it. We're doing the right thing. Okay. Except we're going the wrong way. And our radius is so tight, we would never live. How do we turn this into a win? I say, Will, look that way. I pick it up and I throw it over there. Of course you turn it counterclockwise, otherwise it goes into the ground. Yeah, of course. <laughs> Why don't you move it to the edge? Oh. 
move it to the edge. So we're drawing that over the, the uh, but we've got, you know, I know it's like coming back in on itself. It's so tight. We've almost got a, geez, almost a 180 in our pipe already. That's a three foot radius turn. All right. Okay. We're gonna do this, John. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Take the steering wheel out. Oh, okay. Okay. So, we're going to put this over here for safekeeping and call it the candy cane of disappointment. <laughs> okay, so this didn't work out exactly like we planned before, but we have learned a couple of things. The first thing we learned is Oh, just we don't want to put that extra pump on the. Uh, yeah. No. The, Take it easy with the. Yeah. That's on me. The second thing we've learned. Counterclockwise when we turn. Counterclockwise yeah. when we turn because that way our spiral goes up into the sky Not instead into the of ground. straight to hell. Yeah, bad news. And uh, we're gonna go to the steel store because candy cane of disappointment and rainbow of disappointment. And we'll see you next time. Comments, please. If I ever needed you, now's the time. Put in the comments, what are we doing wrong? What could we do better? Help us out. Subscribe, like, this is fun. We're learning stuff. Follow on YouTube, LinkedIn, Twitter, Instagram, slash Wolf Pebble. Thank you for helping us bring physics family fun. Thank you for helping us bring physics family. Thank you for helping us bring physics family fun and business to kids everywhere. I'm Will Pemble. I'm John Elliott. We'll see you soon.